Using your Instagram stories is a great way to turn viewers into leads. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use ManyChat to do that. Now, in a previous video, I have showed you how to send comments automatically and then send them a message to their DM to get them to turn into a lead. But this work time, we're going to use the stories. Now, how we got here was we just logged into our many chat, went over to new automation and it pulled up these templates. So we're going to select the generate leads with stories. It's going to show you an example of what you could do. Having a call to action, they type in the keyword, the message is sent and so on and so forth. So it's just giving you a little idea of what it is. We're going to click set up template. Now, many chat is going to do most of the work for you. It's already setting up this little series of automations. We're going to start on the left and we're going to move our way through. So when we click on the box, it's going to open up. Here's where we can modify the content here. So when the user replies to the story, we're going to click in there. Do we want it to be all stories or do we want it to be a specific story? Now the story has to be live for you to select the story. So right now I don't have a story live, so it's not going to give me that option. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all stories. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to set it to, um, we can, we don't even have to set it to live. We can just set it all up. Then I'll go post my story and then I'll come right back in and just select the story. That way we're not wasting any time, um, you know, between having the story go live with the call to action and then coming in and setting all this up. So set it all up first. Okay. But you could just do all stories. Remember your stories are only up for so long. Um, and especially if you, um, are using this in a highlight, it's going to live even longer, which is great. So reply contains specific words or any word you want them to just send you like comment on the story or do a keyword. If you want a keyword, go ahead and type in a keyword. So just type it, click over to the next one and it will save that one. You can always add more than one keyword. If it's commonly misspelled, I would add another keyword with that misspelling. And then you can delay the automation. So wait so many seconds to start the next step, or you can add that in there. So it's just recommending that we do zero. So automatically like replies or react with a, re a heart response. So if we want them to comment and then we want to heart it, we can do that. So then we're just going to hit save here at the bottom. So we're going to save that. I'm going to move this up so you can just see it a little bit better. Okay. So we've got our trigger set and then we're going to edit our message. So just click into this box and you're going to go ahead and edit your message. Your followers, um, you can ask them to send their email address and their phone number uh, here, but maybe you're just doing email marketing, then delete your message. This is where you get to personalize automation. So type in your personal message here, make it sound like you. If you're funny or sassy, put in those personality, put that personality into this comment here. And then um, that's it. So they're going to give you their email address and then it will trigger the next thing. Now with the ManyChat Pro account, you can automatically save the information to your customer system field, which you can then easily integrate with your email service provider. So we use Kajabi for our email, our CRM, but there's lots of others. You can find the list of, of uh, places it integrates with. You can use Zapier, a third party, to say, okay, when they give me their email address in ManyChat, Zapier, I want you to take that email address and create a contact in my email CRM pl platform. That way they are added to your master email list over in your CRM. Okay. So that's available with the pro account. I'll leave the link to many chat. If you want to set up your account below this video, but note that that is how people are taking emails from here and getting it into their CRM. Now let's move over to the next step. This is where they're then going to get the link. We have wait 60 seconds here, so you can modify that. Click on it. You could decrease the time. If you're like, I want it to be 50 seconds, you can go ahead and decrease the time. Then create your custom message here. Great. Here is the masterclass to watch. Now, big tip here, click on this update your button title, whatever you want it to say, replace the URL, not with your opt-in page where they then again would put in their name and their email, but you would replace this link with the watch page. 
We don't need them to give their name and their email. Again, they already just gave you their email. So we want to decrease the amount of barriers between getting them to actually watch. We got their email. We're going to use uh, Zapier to send it to our CRM. So we just want to give them the watch link. If you're doing this for a downloadable, a PDF or a checklist, this is the link straight to open it up, not to opt in again to get it. Okay. Big, big note there. All right. Then we have the final option here. You can delete this if you want, but it's saying, hey, if you want to give them another gift after they opt into the masterclass, then you can do that here. Now, the template shows waiting 60 seconds, waiting 60 seconds. And you're like, hmm, if I can adjust this to be more than that, why do we have two? Well, you actually cannot. <coughs> <coughs> It has to be between one and 60 seconds. So move that over. So that is why you can do 60 seconds. If you want to uh, make another one, if you want it to be not, um, not 90 seconds, but <laughs> if you want it to be uh, three minutes that they have to wait, then you can just duplicate it and add another one. You can move this around. This is not going to make sense. So it's giving you a warning because you wouldn't put that after there. Um, but anyway, that is how you move things around in here. And then here's your message. You know, here's your free gift. Grab the freebie. If you do not want this, you can go ahead and just click on it and delete it. We're going to confirm. We're just going to delete that. So now we just have a simple three step. They comment on your story. They get this message. They'll give you their email address. It'll wait 50 seconds and then it will give them the link to watch. Okay. Then you can preview it, take a look and see how the comments come in through, and then you can set it to live and then it will be ready to go. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tips on branding, copy, and design. Want more? Check out this video next.